And a far more serious scene. Uh, watch these images. Really just an ugly, a dangerous scene at the state capitol in Michigan. As we look at this extreme group of people. Those pictures and those clashes really show um, the, the chaos. And you're out there with, with, um, with guns? I don't want to call them rallies. They're not protests. These quote-unquote protests, I, I don't even think that that's the right word, uh, because protests are supposed to be peaceful. I'm not embarrassed to say that I was afraid. It's not clear what they're demanding, demanding to infect other people, demanding to make other people sick. It's dangerous, and these people can take this home with them and hurt their families and all the rest. I'd like to ask them if they're willing to sign away their right to treatment, if and when they get infected. Who the hell do you think you are? I don't understand what is wrong with people. Stay at home. I, I, I want to be clear in how I characterize this. This is a, mostly a protest. Uh, it is not, uh, it is not generally speaking, unruly. That ain't a riot, what we're seeing right now in Minneapolis. Excuse me, any reasonable person would say we shouldn't be destroying other people's property, but these are not reasonable times. And please, show me where it says that protests are supposed to be polite and peaceful. The beautiful thing is we're seeing citizens who are caring and concerned. They're hitting the streets. Heartwarming to see so many people turn out peacefully. You know, Brooke, I think this is a march, really. But as they're coming off, it's peaceful. They're saying peaceful protest. But across the country, uh, they're, uh, it's bringing people together, community with unity. People are risking COVID to explain to this country that we're fed up 